In the last part we looked at singletons and we explained why they are bad. In this part we're going to look at how we can refactor that code uh, by using dependency injection. So the first thing that we want to do is go to our database class and we just want to remove all the singleton stuff. And then we're going to instantiate database manually. So now this method doesn't exist, so how are we going to get this database object without having global access? Well, we're going to create a constructor, public function construct, and we're going to pass in db, and we're going to set this db to db, and we're going to set that up here, and just to make sure that we do in fact get a database object, we're going to type in this, and then all we have to do is replace this with this database query. So that's all fine, we've got everything working. The last thing that we need to do is pass this variable into our article class. So let's refresh in our browser and perfect, we get select all from articles. 